Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. Um, so in today's video, I thought I would do my September um, favorites. So my top five favorite objects, not products this month, but one of them, well, four to five of them are um, products, but one of them is um, more of a spiritual object. Um, so, yeah, if that sounds like something you'd like to see, then keep watching. Also, one thing before I switch into the next part of this video, um, spooky season has officially arrived. As you can see, I have my background changed, and I just feel like showing off my background, honestly. It looks like that. So, it's super cute, and I love Halloween. Um... As you could probably infer by my um, um, choice of career, um, well, my future career, is that Halloween is a very fun time. So if you have any suggestions on stuff you would like to see that's Halloween related, definitely leave me them. I'll literally do anything because this is going to be the first Halloween actually on this channel. So yeah, I'm excited and we're going to have so much fun because I love Halloween. Halloween is like the best season ever. So yeah, just leave me literally anything. So I'll just get the non-product out of the way first, but my first September favorite and really life time favorite is my deck of tarot cards um so i very much like tarot cards i like tarot reading um i'm still learning because i got these in christmas um at christmas so um it takes a while to learn everything but i try and do it uh weekly and as often as i can this is the Gilded Tarot Company um, by Barbara Moore. This is the book. And you can see it has your introduction, um, the basics, basic components, uh, what all the different things mean. And uh, it also includes, one thing I really like about this is it includes exercises that you can repeat over and over again um, just to learn the um, trick of the trade uh, for a tarot reading. Um, I'll probably do a video on this actually because I feel like it would kind of fit into um, spooky season and spooky month. So if you want to see that, definitely let me know because I could do a video on this. Um, it also has the Fool's Journey through all the major arcana. I don't know if I'm saying that right, by the way. Um, care and storage, divination, asking questions. It has a lot of things to read through. Um, what is tarot spread? What is a tarot spread? Um, significators. Um, astrological signs. So mine would be pentacles because I am a Virgo, which is an earth sign. Um, for... I'll just read them through, actually, because I feel like this would be cool to know. So that's what it looks like if you want to pause and look for yourself. But wands are Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, so the fire signs. Um, cups are Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, water signs. Swords are Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Aquar Aquarius. <laughs> I almost said Aquaria. Um, Aquarius, which are the air signs, and Taurus. Virgo and Capricorn, which are the Earth signs. So there is a lot more like personality um, and age that I would have to do the full video on for you to understand if you are new to tarot reading. Um, reversals, performing a reading. So all of this first part, the finishing touches, is all um, learning, and then we get to the Major Arcana, which has the Fool's Journey, essentially, so it goes all the way through, like, the Lovers, the Chariot, Strength, the Hermit, Wheel of Fortune, all the way through to the World, which is the final card, and then we get to the Minor Arcana, um, which has your Wands, your Cups, your Swords, and your Pentacles. 
um, all up to 10. And then we go to the court cards, which are your pages, your knights, your queens, and your kings. And there's mm, loads of different cards. I'll try and find, um, I just hit my camera. <laughs> Anyways, I'll try and not break things. Um, I'll just find some really quickly here that are of significance, I guess, to what I'm trying to explain. Or I'll just pull off a couple. So, if I take, for example, the star, this would be a major arcana card. You can see, um, the star, and it has a number instead of, um, a color in this little blurb here. That's what it looks like. Um... Then if we have things like the Ace of Wands or so on in like cups and all the different things, um, I'll do a more in-depth video of this, but it'll have a color signifying an element, the image, and then Ace is one. And then we have things like the, like the Queen of Pentacles, you can see it has the element symbol, so it's Earth, the image, and it is a court card because it is a queen. So, I love doing these. I think they're really fun. Um, I'll get more in depth about everything um, when I do a video about it, but yeah, um, on to the next thing. Next is something that cannot be lived without, that I... Yeah, that didn't make a lot of sense. Um, I'm very tired. I didn't get a lot of sleep. But anyways, it is this Duo Lash Glue. And I don't know if I've already had this for one of my favorites lists. But if I did, it's here again. Um, the one I get, though, is the Strip Lash Adhesive White Clear. So it goes on white and then goes clear. I like this because you can get it all over, basically. And it'll just dry clear. Wouldn't recommend it though, so because that would be very uncomfortable. Um, but it doesn't leave any like residue. I keep hearing like a fluttering and it's annoying me, anyways. Um, yeah, this is great um, for lashes because I did have one that was like a black tinted and I was like black because I had my black eyeliner, obviously. Um, did not work out well, I didn't like how it worked out um yeah no it wasn't fun so on to the next thing next one i know i haven't had for very long but i love it it's absolutely the best highlighter i've had so far um it's amazing it's so luminous and it's the best color ever like it's so pretty it is the ofra um madison X Madison Miller highlighter in sea shimmer so that is what it looks like and you can see how luminous that is and it's just so beautiful if I take some on my finger like it can't even focus it's so bright um, you can see like it's beautiful and like, you could spread it out, too, still, and you still have a little shimmer, so, I don't know, I just love it. Um, it's probably one of my favorite highlighters I have ever tried in the existence of all the highlighters I've tried. Um, and I wear highlighter every day, cheekbones, nose, cupid's bow, brow bones, if I don't have eyeshadow on. Um, it's the best. I would definitely recommend getting it. And if this is a sample size, which I don't think it is, I think this is a full size. Um, the full size is probably massive, though, <laughs> if this is a sample. Um, but yeah, I would definitely recommend getting this um, in any color you want. I like this color, though, because I love rose, rose gold. <laughs> I can't talk. Anyways, on to the next product. Next one is something that I use... Um, every couple days or so when I wash my hair, because it's not good to wash your hair every day, and like, completely, <laughs> every like second day I'll wash it, but I let it sit for a day because I'm trying to grow my hair long, um, even though I'm eventually gonna end up cutting it back to here again, and we all know that. Um, but this is the Tresemme, um, Color Protection Hair 
shampoo and conditioner. It's the red bottle, and I love these. Um, I know I don't have color in my hair right now, but it is good for someone who colors their hair so much like me and doesn't use any of the bleach because it actually does protect the color a lot. Um, and it ha it makes it a lot more shimmery because... That's so annoying. Anyways, um, it's kind of like a shimmery, like silvery color, if that makes any sense. Um, but yeah, I've been using that forever. Um, it's done pretty well on my hair and yeah, it's also made it a lot thicker. Um, I know my hair looks like gross today. That's because it was so humid out. It killed my hair. Um, anyways, on to the last product. So my last product for this month is the Cup O' Coffee um, face mask from Lush and I think we can all infer that I love this product because it smells like coffee and it has little coffee grains in it so that is what it looks like and it smells so good it smells like an espresso <laughs> um, I love it um, I love coffee and I love this it's also kind of like a double action sort of thing because it exfoliates because it, it has the little coffee grains in it so it like scrubs all your pores but then it also is kind of like a clay consistency almost um, so it also extracts things um, to then scrub off so I love it um, in that sense too and it's also relatively easy to um, get off um, it's a blend of ground coffee. I feel like there's a bug in here and it's freaking me out. I hate bugs. Um, kaolin and agave syrup. So, yeah, I would definitely recommend getting this. If you don't like the smell of coffee, though, it's probably not for you. Um, but I love coffee, so it's definitely for me. <laughs> That's it for um, today's video, guys. Make sure to leave comments in the description, or in the comment section, or um, my accounts are linked in the description. Um, you can message me on either of those. I try to get back to you as soon as possible. For any suggestions for spooky season, um, share me, like, subscribe. I'll do my best to return the favor. And yeah, have a good day, guys. Bye. Why does my hand look so... Yellow. <laughs>